I'm talking to Swarup Ganguly, who's the uh, founder of MatterWave Technologies. Uh, Swarup, hello. Hi, Nitin. How are nice you? Nice to be with you. Uh, good. Uh, what's MatterWave? I think you're in the, in the business of RF, I guess. Um, RF and more. So we are in the business of compound semiconductor based devices, right. particularly focused on uh, nitride semiconductors. Our main uh, product line that we are looking at is RF, and the other one is photonic devices. Okay, and um, tell me just a little bit about uh, the, the history that came to MatterWave Technologies birth. Okay. So this um, startup comes out of IIT Bombay, yes. out of the labs that we see behind us. Yeah. Um, this gallium nitride technology is something that has been honed here for almost 15 years yes. uh, to the point where it's uh, matured and we have uh, players in the space and uh, defense sectors mm. to whom this technology is going out. This fab technology is going out, so we are enabling fabs today. We'll be looking to do more of that in the uh, months to come and uh, thereafter we'll look at um, new products, differentiated products based on our proprietary process technologies. And what differentiates your process technology um, compared to what we've seen you know, elsewhere on the wide band gap scene? So um, one example, for instance, is uh, an integration of uh, wide band gap nitride semiconductors with uh, diamond, mm. for instance, mm. to give uh, complementary logic capability that can be seamlessly integrated with nitride RF. Okay. So uh, that kind of integration would be quite unprecedented and that's what we are shooting for. Okay, so uh, just to clarify, so you're, you're trying to enable uh, companies to uh, put these process technologies in for their gallium nitride, but also at the same time, you want to try and build, build products uh, based on this for yourself. Yes, yeah. so products based on gallium nitride today yeah. But also we have these very futuristic things in the pipeline and those could give us products uh, based on new process technologies. And, and background, uh, so when were you founded? A um, couple of weeks ago, okay. officially. Okay, so, so tw uh, August 2024? Yeah. Okay, and, um, but it's, it's based on a lot more work behind that? It's based on, yeah, 15 years of 15 years of, of work. research, as yeah. you said earlier. And, uh, so what's next for you? Where is this going and, and what's the timeline? So um, over the next one year, uh, we will look at um, two kinds of businesses or revenue hopefully coming in. One from the fab enablement uh, line okay. and the other from the product development. Again, we over the next one year or maybe two years, it will be from the space and defense sectors. Sure. Um, going ahead where we really want to take this is telecom, telecom. 6G, and, 6G and beyond. Interesting. And uh, what kind of conversations are you initiating on that, on the 6G start? Uh, well, telecoms generally. Um, or I is it too early still? I think it's a little too early. I think we really got to prove ourselves on mm. space and defense mm. and, and then reach for telecom. Uh, one thing which is heartening is that uh, the space sector in India is getting liberalized. So the business in space in India is going to be much larger than uh, what we what one would have thought uh, five years ago. Um, I mean, for our audience, maybe they don't know enough about that. You know, just elaborate on that a little bit in terms of yes. the space opportunity here. Absolutely. So the space sector in India used to be completely private. Uh, sorry, public sector. Correct. Government yeah. owned under the very well known uh, Indian Space Research Organization. Uh, what is happening uh, now is that there is going to be a significant amount of liberalization to let in uh, private entrepreneurs in um, all um, segments of the value chain in space, mm. everything from launch to applications, uh, with ISRO playing the role of the governmental R&D facilitator, mm. uh, which for a company like ours, which is making a platform technology that can enable space applications, it's, it's a huge uh, potential that we see there. Okay, and uh, are you looking for funding as well or is that something that uh, uh, you, know, you haven't even thought about being two weeks old or a few weeks old? Um, no, we have had to think about funding for all those 15 years yeah. because this is a very resource intensive uh, discipline. Uh, we have uh, 
we have had as IIT Bombay, we have had significant amounts of funding from the Ministry of Electronics, from our Department of Space, mm. and uh, what we have recently got is uh, a startup grant from the Ministry of Defense, mm. Government of India, uh, under a program which is defined jointly by the by the U.S. and Indian navies. Okay, Swarup, well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure, Nitin. Thank you.